Hi everyone, this is Chris and I'm going to have part three for you today of the EJ uh, pedal rig kind of impressions thing. And uh, my first two videos in this series, I was talking about, you know, how to, um, you know, get the EJ sound. But today I'm going to focus on one thing in particular that I did not talk about in the other two. This will be the last one of these EJ things for a while, but the clean intro tone that he does on the Cliffs of Dover thing where he's got the hold function going on the, on the delay pedal. That's what I'm talking about today and how to do that. So what I've got in this pedal setup, and I am using a um, pedal platform idea where the amps are set to clean and I have two different pedal chains, one clean, one dirty, and I'm using AB switching for that so I can go back and forth between that Kind of EJ, you know, violin tone, overdriven sound, and then the really super clean with sometimes tape delay. Sometimes I take that out and it's just a reverb. But uh, what's going on with that though is in the middle of those two chains, I have a pedal that I can loop a particular sound or chord like you see EJ does. Now he has some custom made switching pedals for that because he's using multiple amps like three or four different amps, you know, to get his tones and different things. So he's got some, uh, you know, different kinds of custom made pedals to, to operate this whole function. I'm using a ditto. So, and what I will do is I will pre put in, if I'm planning on doing a gig or having, you know, this particular thing, if it presents itself where I will be doing this kind of thing, I will already have the particular chord that, um, I'm going to hold, whether I'm playing over E or G or whatever. Today, it's E. So, I'm going to point the camera down so you, and take you through everything on the, these two pedal chains and uh, then show you a little demonstration. And then maybe after that, you can put your rig together. And I'm only, only using one amplifier, just one amp. So, it takes two AB pedals to do this with two pedal chains the way I'm, I'm routing everything. So um, let's just put the camera down on the floor now and look at the pedal uh, set up and I'll take you through this and show you everything. So what's going on here actually is we've got some, uh, you know, overdrive pedals and whatnot, but the main thing is this ditto and I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and press this. I've got that as E, okay? To stop that. So the way I'm doing this is coming from the amplifier into an AB pedal for uh, the output. But um, I'm sorry, the input. Okay. Now the output is here with this ditto looper pedal. So in order for you to be able to uh, have this play over both chains. Like, you know, if you didn't do this this way, and I've experimented with this so many times, if you did not do this, when you turn one ch uh, pedal chain on, then this is not going to be making any sound. It's going to go away. So what you want is this to be playing as you switch between clean and dirty, okay? So we need this to keep going. It needs to be going like that whether I change to A or B, see? Okay, so back to that, let's turn that off. So that is the secret to this. So you've got two AB pedals, two AB pedals, one going in, one going out. The amplifier input goes right over here to this ditto out, okay? Everything else will go in. And that's how I'm using this AB uh, pedal on this side. And then on this side, it's just like running water through pipes. If you can, you know, think of it that way. It goes in one side and goes around the other side. So that is the secret to this thing. If you want to do this with just one amplifier, and, you know, it takes a lot of different pedals to get the thing that I'm doing, you know, to simulate and get kind of close to the impression of uh, Eric's uh, clean and dirty taunts. So that is, that is it. I'm going to put the camera back in front of me now. So what I will do now is uh, just give you just kind of a, a little uh, demonstration of uh, what this sounds like. So, you know, it's like first we'll be clean, okay? But I'm going to... 
going to start this. So there's my E, and I can play over that, improvise like EJ does. You know. kind of a while to kind of wrap my head around how to get these two AV pedals to work, but that that's it. Just look, you know, look at it like water going through like that. You got one amp and you're going to go in, but the, the key to getting the thing where you have that looper pedal keeping the sound going while you switch is to put it going to outside the amp, not, not from the other AV pedal. And that way, whether you're, you know, going to the driver or clean sound, you still got that. see how to do it I hope you can get your rig going if you're you know an EJ fan and you've been trying to you know get wrap your head around how do I get that sound staying on while I go between my uh, you know overdriven and clean sound that's how you do it. Uh, it it's simple you don't have to do a ditto pedal you know any kind of looper pedal will be fine I just happen to have that one so I uh, hope you like the video today and I uh, hope you enjoyed the third and final of the EJ uh, subject matter for you know getting his sound, and that's the trilogy of these three videos. If you like these videos and, and you want to see more of this kind of stuff, you know, I'll be posting some more. You might want to subscribe, you know, and hit that bell. Have a great day, and I will see you next time.